If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon on the YouTube app and you will never miss any new videos that we release. Musical instruments have the capability of creating music, but that doesn't mean every sound that will come out of it is going to be musical. On the other hand, if the musician is supremely talented, then they can create music out of anything. This DIY is totally unique and it's inspired by this amazing musician we have in our studio today. Hey guys, I'm Montre. My mantra is reduce, reuse, retune. I create music instrument out of found objects. Found objects? Yeah. So can you show us to make how to make some cool sounds? Sure, if you could uh, provide me a few PVC pipes. PVC pipes, I saw your videos and I'm ready with them. Great, so we have lots of them. Wow, Which here one? we go. So now I'm gonna pick the basic one, basic smallest PVC pipe in this lot. And I'm gonna create a instrument, I'm gonna show you. Uh, a PVC pipe didgeridoo. So this is just simple PVC pipe. That was too good. Does the sound become different if it's a thicker pipe? So what we've got is some pipes and some reducers also. And I wanted to show the reducer is where uh, the diameter of the pipe has been reduced here. And this is the original diameter of the pipe. So, but this is too big for the mouth, which is why we put the reducer. Let me try. Thank you. Now that we finished, this digeridoo. I would like to show you one more piece of uh, very percussive. I would like to have few more uh, PVC no, pipes. Ones. Yeah, maybe a little yeah. more bigger one. Okay. And uh, yeah, we will see how what we can create out of these pipes. I love PVC pipes nowadays. So great. Let's do this. Two pipes. Put it together. Yeah. Here it is. So I saw it in one of your videos and I thought we'll prepare it. <laughs> something like that. Is there, it is, there it is. So I would like to have something, maybe, uh, you know, not this drumstick, maybe I could some slippers. Slippers? Yeah. Hands. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, here we go. change the length of the tube then the sound will sound change changes. so that happens no? yeah so we could try that out we have prepared one uh... So that was me creating music or that was you creating music? Together. So the notes, uh, when it becomes longer, the note becomes higher or lower? Uh, longer is lower. Longer becomes lower? Yeah. So Come closer, yeah. the uh, notes get higher. Yeah. Two questions came to my mind. One is, uh, how do you create this sound that when you play the didgeridoo? And the second one is, how come you're not taking a break? The sound doesn't take a break when you're playing it. It's just as if it's one continuous long breath. So the first one, it's a vibration between your lips. The answer to the second question, circular breathing. So did you notice what he did? In the first and second breath, he did But in the third one, he did And he took a breath inwards at the same time. So that's the tough thing to master. But Montre is also going to show us how to practice breathing like this. Here we go. So 
so you saw what was happening he was while while the he was blowing the bubbles he did not stop breathing at at certain intervals he kept breathing in but you so not notice that the bubbles never stopped and that's the circular breathing if you have this technique right in place you can play any time this instrument this is it do and i'm going to practice this real hard and i think you guys should also make this and try this at home and that was amazing thank you it was, it has been a real privilege to have you in the studio today i'll take this thing and one more thing one last thing i'm going to show you my travel kit there we go this is four pieces of pvc pipe place it together the fourth one there we go uh -huh.